hello um, this is the first time that uh, i'm getting in touch with you all to uh, clarify something and uh, i think this will be the first time that i'll be thinking twice before i speak my heart because i'm anxious that my words might be uh, misinterpreted uh, so forgive me if i take a while longer than usual to uh, communicate my thoughts um, and i'd like to do this in english In a recent interview, I was asked if I was a supporter of the left or the right wing, and I clearly stated that I believe I'm neutral, and uh, we need to be good human beings first before we identify ourselves with our beliefs, and uh, that the oppressed need to be uh, protected at any cost. So, uh, further into the interview, I went on to elaborate on how I look at things, and I had quoted two references which uh, had a huge impact on me, and. Uh, which uh, left me traumatized for days in fact after i watched the film the kashmir files um, i had the opportunity to speak with the director and this was 3 months ago i remember telling him that i was disturbed uh, seeing the plight of the people at that time and uh, being someone that i am i would never be little uh, tragedy like the genocide and uh, the generations of people who are still affected by it um having said that i can never come to terms with the mob lynching incident that had uh, taken place during our covid times because i remember seeing that video and uh, being shaken uh, for days i believe that uh, violence in any form is wrong and uh, violence in the name of any religion is a huge sin uh so this is all that i wanted to this is all that i intended to say and that's all Uh, but it was uh, very disturbing to see that many people online um justified the mob lynching incident and uh, i don't think any of us have the right to take another person's life uh, being a medical graduate i believe that all lives are equal and all lives are important and uh, i i hope a day doesn't come when a child is born and he or she is scared of his or her identity and i i pray that you're not heading towards that at least um see 14 years of my life uh, my school life i remember every day going to school and chanting all indians are my brothers and sisters i love my country and i'm proud of its rich and varied heritage um so maybe it went so deep into my head and uh, we as children would never um uh never differentiated each other based on uh, culture or caste or religion so um so any time i speak it comes from a very neutral ground and i was very 